Yo, what's going on guys? Um, today, um, in this video, um, I, uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the, um, game systems and all this stuff and how great that they are and all the stuff that, um, they done and they've done to make them better and all this stuff. So, um, yeah, um, so, um, right now I'm actually playing on the Xbox One and, uh, playing, uh, Black Ops One backwards compatible and all this but, um, what I wanted to talk with you guys about and let you guys know about the, um, game systems is because, um, there's a lot of people that, um, are talking about that like the PlayStation more and like Xbox more and the, like, Nintendo more and all this. And, uh, they go on and on and on about which is better and da 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 this. Well, um, I'm here to let you guys know that, um, the game systems are... Um, very good in their own ways. Each of the three brands are making the most money and everything else. But, um, I, uh, I know this is another video that I'm recording like this, but, um, my next check, or my next, one, uh, thing I'm gonna try to save up for is definitely the capture card. Um, I was gonna plan on getting an Xbox One, uh, Slim not too long ago, but, um, I didn't have enough money because my jobs cut my hours and stuff, but I did have enough money for, um, my PS4 and all this stuff, so, um, my friend sold me, um, his PS4 for $200, it came with, uh, Call of Duty Ghost and GTA 5, which was a good deal, and so, I, I could not have to, uh, lie about that, but, um, since I got the original Xbox One and everybody's been telling me that, um, yeah, wait till the Scorpio comes out and all this other stuff and all that, I'm, uh, probably gonna get the capture card next and then I'll probably get the Xbox One S after it, but for now I'm, uh, probably gonna wait till, um, I get enough money for the capture card first. I'm gonna probably try to get it. But, I mean, you guys shouldn't be have to be long. I mean, I started recording, uh, with a full screen, like, doing this one way that my friend um, showed me, but, um, it's a little bit kind of complicated and, uh, kind of a little bit hard and stuff, so I said, you know, screw it, but still, I get people to watch videos that, um, I make of doing this kind of way, so I decided to keep doing it, but anyway, um, what I wanted to talk with you guys about, about the consoles, is that, um, they're all good in their own ways, they make their own monies, uh, they usually still do whatever they have to in order to make their money. But, um, the, the PlayStation, the games, um, there's exclusives that, um, Xbox does not get that PlayStation gets, and then there's exclusives that Xbox gets that PlayStation does not get, and that's why they make a lot of money is because the fact that, um, they're trying to, they, there's only certain games that they make for all platforms, such as this one, this one's for all platforms, um, but Halo is one of the, uh, top number one Xbox exclusive games, and, uh, Spyro is, like, one of the top five, uh, PlayStation exclusive games and all this stuff, and, uh, Sony is supposed to bring back Spyro sometime, uh, whenever, I don't know when, but, um, yeah, Xbox One, uh, a lot of people say the graphics, um, are just not as slightly as good as the PS4 graphics, which I found that out when I, uh, first played, uh, GTA 5 on my, uh, PS4 that I just got, and I saw the graphics, how they looked a slightly bit more better and stuff, but you also gotta look at it this way, that the, um, the Xbox One is still very good of, uh, other things beside the graphics. I mean, the graphics really are not a lot different, they're just a slightly bit different, but they're still kind of really good and all that. I mean, I'm playing Black Ops 1 on the Xbox One as backward compatibility. Sony does not have PS3 games as backward compatible. They got two. But the bad thing about PS4 that sucks is that, um, two things. One, PS4, um, you, the PS4 backward compatibility games that, uh, they're putting PS2 games on, you gotta, you only can play them if you only own them as digital. You can't play them if you have them, uh, on disc or nothing. Because I tried to play one. And then the second thing of why, um, Sony, um, is not, is, uh, because, uh, for the PlayStation Plus games that, um, Sony gets, um, they only get, uh, like, not as big titles like Xbox, uh, 360 and Xbox One gets. But other than that, yeah, um, but there's other things that Xbox, um, is a little bit bad that Sony, uh, is a little better of. And that's definitely of the graphics, like I was saying. But, um, 
Xbox gets more better games with gold than PlayStation Plus for Sony. And, uh, also, the another thing is, like I was saying, um, the, uh, Xbox 360 backward compatibility games, uh, that they have on the Xbox One, you can play them on disc, like on, like, Sony's PS2 backward compatibility games, you cannot play them on disc on the PS4. But, on the Xbox One, you can play any of your 360 games that have backward compatible on disc or downloadable. You see, that's another good thing about Xbox. See, when I started to play online gaming, um, I started out with the um, Xbox 360, and um, I still think it's the one of the best systems ever. That's why I make. Um, that's why I've made quite a few videos for people to watch to see why it's still worth buying uh, in 2016 or whatever. But once you look at it, um, another thing, a reason why they're still worth buying is because. Um, Eventually, they're going to get rare and stuff, and then they're going to be hard to find, which um, Microsoft has officially already now stopped ma making them and all this, um, so you got to deal with uh, all the ones that are out right now. Other than that, um, the games uh, for Xbox One um, actually are been pretty darn good. I'm not going to lie for the exclusive. Um, the Halo Master Chief Collection was really good of a game. Um, you get to play all four of the Halos remastered and this and that and all that. But other than that, yeah, um, like I said, um, Sony still has, like, uh, there's good things that Sony does and that uh, Microsoft does not have, and then there's good things that Microsoft has that, uh, uh, Sony does not have. But, um, the games in general, uh, make a lot of money and everything, even if it's Xbox, PlayStation, or hell, even Nintendo, they still make lots and lots of games, and they're still making lots of money and stuff, like, Mario is like the number one exclusive for Nintendo. Halo is the number one exclusive for Xbox. And then I think for PlayStation, I think it is uh, either Uncharted or maybe Spyro and Crash or whatever. But I know um, there's good games. Um, but another good favorite uh, Xbox exclusive game I've always liked is uh, definitely um, Fable and all that stuff. But yeah... Um, the game systems are still good in a way, and uh, I thought I'd talk a little bit about them with you guys and see what um, you all guys think. If those of you that are new, um, hit that subscribe button and uh, send me in the comments below um, what's your favorite exclusive and what's your favorite uh, system out of the three um, and all this and what fanboy are you and all that. And then tell me like um, in the comments below and say, uh, tell me what's your favorite games um, for the exclusive for each of the three systems like say for like if Sony if you say Uncharted's your favorite for Sony or you're an Xbox fan but you like in your favorite game of exclusive for Xbox is Halo so just like send me in the comments below and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video guys so peace out